pag-uusap naman natin ngayon ang isa sa mga atletang hindi lamang nagrepresenta sa Pilipinas sa Southeast Asian Games na kauwi rin ng bronze medal. Magandang araw sa iyo, Al Liamas or bronze medalist in Courage. Ay, magandang araw po. On behalf of Global Daily Mirror, congratulations sa iyo, Al. Maraming salamat po. Ano naman yung pakiramdam mo ngayon? Okay naman. Actually, ano, more on recovering sa pagod ng biyahe pa uwi and mm-hmm. then Uh, it's still very surreal. Parang uh, we had this party after party doon, and then sabi, we're planning on having like a dinner here all together. Mm-hmm. Pero right now we're just really trying to rest up. Lalo ani parang late yung naramdaman mo yung pagod and yung sakit ng katawan. So yeah, but I'm very happy with what happened. Is this your first game? Uh, this is my second Sea Games experience. Mm-hmm. My first one was back in 2019. Okay. Dito din sa Philippines when we hosted it, mm-hmm. and then I also won the bronze medal. Locally, were you also joining competitions or uh, courage? Y- or well, did locally, we have competitions here? We had one before, but it's just for selecting players to mm-hmm. um, yung pweding compete natin internationally. I competed there as well. But other than that, more on puro judo competition since yun yung popular, semi-popular dito sa atin na similar sa sport ng Courage. And Courage was derived from yeah. judo, right? Mm-hmm. Most, most, When uh, did it start ba? Well, it started for us, for the Southeast Asian people and for the Philippines. We joined mm-hmm. the first international event back in 2016 mm-hmm. sa, if I remember correctly, sa Vietnam then It was the Asian Beach Games. Okay. And then we delivered, I think, three medals na nakauwi tayo for the first time in Courage. And then again, 2017, uh, Asian Indoor Games. And then I was one of the people who uh, entered the competition and then I got a, a bronze medal as well. Wow. So yun, parang from, from there, uh, a lot of the players and athletes from mm-hmm. judo team. Nagtatry na sila ng Courage as an event and then that's where we finally made a complete team. Wow. I learned that you're a playing coach. Yes. How do you juggle focusing on, you know, preparing for the competition at the same time guiding your teammates? Uh, yes, um, very, very, very challenging. Um, parang sometimes iniisip ko na gusto kong mag-focus sa sarili ko din as well but I really can't help na sila ulit yung i-priority ko you know i mean mm-hmm. it's it's part of me as well na nag-aalala ako sa well-being nila mm-hmm. pero what's good about this is yung bond namin it's very strong na sila na mismo yung nagsabi coach ba kailangan mo ng tulong anong pwede namin gawin diyan even yung med- ma- mga clerical works na lang baka pwedeng kami na yung gumawa and mm-hmm. i appreciate that so much kasi parang yung ganung maliit na bagay lang ang laki na ng tulong sa akin mm-hmm. sabi ko okay I can do my extra workouts ng ganito kasi yeah. they're doing this for me. So yeah, kahit na very stressful siya, naging okay naman lahat kasi nagtutulangan pa rin kami. Yung mga inaalagaan mo, are they younger than you or they're also older than you, some of them? Uh, yeah, most of them are younger than me. Some mm-hmm. are older. Tapos, uh, but If I may ask, yeah. how young are you? I'm 29. I just wow. turned 29 <laughs> the other day. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how many of them are you training? Uh, nung, when we entered the bubble training, total of us was, I think, 22. Mm-hmm. 22 people, including the coaches, other coaches. How many coaches were there with you? Uh, inside there, tatlo kami. Pero we had one more who was outside, our second okay. conditioning coach. Okay. But He was still guiding us. You know, he gave us the progress we needed to do, and then we had we had time to call him whenever we needed something edited, mm-hmm. yan, or if ever na makikailan namin ng advice from him. So yeah, we still worked as a team. And uh, you got the medal despite yes, training exactly. with them. Yes, oh, exactly. I mean, uh, I I felt sad at first, kind of um, more on disappointed at myself because mm-hmm. I I knew that. Uh, there could have been a better result, you know. Okay. Pero all in all, I was happy and very, very worth it. Yung paghihirap namin, especially when I saw everyone else win. Parang, oh, okay. When you said that uh, you yeah. could have done better, what was that? Do you would you like uh, well um, evaluate yourself? Oh okay, yeah, what, yeah. What it's, have it's, you done? What could have you done like better or done well, wrong? I'm I'm guessing it's. Uh, already just between the fights na mismo. when I was already there mm-hmm. there are some um, mistakes that happened during the fight that I okay. wish I could have done not have done you know okay. pero 
sabi naman din nila, I mean, they were all behind me. Na, hey, coach, okay lang yan. You did great. You still won a medal. So oh, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm happy with this. And then Malaking everyone, bad. yes, everyone else won. Mm-hmm. Parang, at first, ano eh, medyo, there are lots of eyes on us na yung preparation namin could have been, you know, longer and better since uh, we are a contact sports and the bio situation happened here with the alert levels going up and down. Mm-hmm. Hindi kami pwedeng mag physical training kasi ng agad agad. We needed the support talaga. Tapos, we had, I think, less than two months to prepare. Mm-hmm. So people were really eyeing us na, ah, ano kayang mangyari dito sa mga to? Kaya ba nila? Mm-hmm. So yeah, at, at, at the end of the day, oh, we got nine medals out of ten. I'm very, very happy with the results. That's what I was gonna ask. Um, ito ba yung martial arts na pinakamarami tayong nasungkit na medal? Uh, I think so. So far, ito yung pinakamadami. Um, right now, competing na yung judo team natin. Hopefully, okay. they also deliver. You know, we're also rooting for them. I mean, for me, lahat naman ng uh, mga grappling sports kasi yan, lahat kami magkakapatid. Eh. So, right. we support each and every one, especially sa martial arts na world. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so far I if I'm not mistaken kami yung pinahamadanin na uwing mental sa martial arts. Ngaling. What did you have to go through sa trainings niyo? Any special training specifically for Sea Games or pareho lang ba? Um yeah, actually we did we did a lot this season. Um we adapted into creating a program for specifically sa courage na training kasi okay. before we kind of mixed it up with um, judo training. Eh. So mm-hmm. now we're, we're courage specific and then our SNC, we adapted into weightlifting as well. Okay. And it helped us a lot. Um, I was the other, I think, yeah, I was still in Vietnam when I was talking to uh, Coach Julius, yung coach ni, um, ni Heidelin. Okay. We were talking and then I told him, na, you know, this is really helpful for us. We tried adapting the the weightlifting program tapos sabi ko medyo baguhan pero it really helped us you know develop the power that we needed mm-hmm. and then yeah i think that's one of the plus factors na we had we had in our pockets na baon baon namin ang andon even the even if yung yung ano namin yung conditioning namin mm-hmm. parang uh, when when they were fighting i was shouting na oy may stamina kayo may baon kayo hindi kayo napapagod so yeah I think I think uh, we were more prepared this season compared to the last one. Is there any uh, moment na hindi mo makakalimutan na challenge nyo during the training Ch- or personal challenge? Mo? Oh yeah, a lot, a lot. Um, siguro yun nga when it comes to uh, yung sa stamina training namin, it's very hard because we had interval runs and then at the same time interval um, battle rope. So that's both upper and lower na separate days, but when you do it, it, it really feels like it's gonna kill you, you know. Tapos, uh, parang at that moment, medyo may deep inside, you susuko ka na eh. Mm-hmm. Ganyan. But you're gonna shout, Kami yun, let's go, ganyan, ganyan. And then, mabuhayan ka wala. So, for me, yun yung one of the forgettable things, yung challenges na parang nakuha namin from the training. Especially coming from um, the pandemic situation na fresh na lahat kayo mag-isa. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it was, there was a mental challenge as well, you know, behind that. And then, yeah. being surrounded by the people na lahat ng ginagawa niyo, mahal niyo, ganyan, and then they're supporting you. I think yun yung naging breakthrough namin. Dito ka ba sa Manila nag-training? Yes, yes. Dito mm-hmm. sa Manila. Um, we had our training venue somewhere in Taguig before okay. kami pumasok sa bubble training. And then, when we entered the bubble training, dito yun sa may field sports sa uh, passing. When did you start oh, the, Kurach? Or did you start with Judo first? At oh, yeah, what age? I, I started with the Judo when I was seven. <laughs> I was seven years old, so very, very young. Pa. Tapos, I transitioned into Kurach. Uh, this was, ano na eh, 2017. Mm. 2017. So, yun. Since very similar nga siya, parang I only had to learn the different rules and then some variations of techniques na allowed sa courage. And yeah, it turned out to be okay, you know. Parang sabi ko, ah, bagay, bagay ito sa akin. Mm. And who inspired you or what inspired you to 
get into martial arts? Oh, well, that would have been my dad. You know, siya yung nagpasok sa amin, me and my siblings, sila, siya yung nagpasok sa amin sa uh, world ng martial arts when okay. we were kids. And then okay. that actually helped a lot since um, when we were entering college, Mm-mm. we were able to use that to get scholarships. Right. You know, be, napatapos namin yung sarili namin mag So I'm very proud of that moment. Very inspiring. So this sport actually mm-hmm. um, also made you uh, go through college. Yes. Okay. And uh, your parents are both like uh, Yeah. My, my mom isn't here anymore. But mm. when when she was alive, both sila judo players I din see. talaga. Yeah. And how many siblings do you have na naglalaro din? Oh, a lot. <laughs> There's too much eh. But um, yung mga kasabay ko sa UST before the university was dalawa. Yung, uh, yung uh, older brother and sister ko. Ah, okay. So, talagang lahat kayo. Specifically, yeah, judo. Specifically, judo, Ikaw yes. Ikaw lang nag-courash. Yes, oh, okay. ako lang yung nag-courash talaga. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And uh, ano naman sa tingin mo during the game, no? Yung, I wanted to talk about it. Yung lamang mo dun sa kalaban mo that time. What was your mindset? Or ano yung pakiramdam mo during the prelims? Oh, I was, I was, I was really, I was, I was, um, how can I say this? Parang, I was in the zone. Maybe okay. that's that's the correct term, you know. Okay. Parang I I felt good. I felt strong. Okay. I felt like uh, when I when I held the uniform, na parang uy, ang gaan naman nito. Parang ganon. I felt right. really strong and really good. So yeah, I think that's a that's a good feeling. And then at the same time, um, I wasn't oh, stressed about it, you know. Pa mm-hmm. paano mo nagawa na relax ka sa dunyo that day? Yeah, well, actually, ano eh, more on. I, I can, um, parang, when I feel na stress ako, kinakabahan ako, there's this thing on my mind na nasa-switch ko siya into excitement. You know, okay. na parang, okay, I want to fight now. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see them. I wanna try to feel, I, w- I want them to feel that I'm strong like this. I, I want them to see what I can do. Mm-hmm. So when I transition into that, I become more relaxed. And then at the same time, parang, even just before, Entering the stage, uh, I would I would just be kind of jiving, you know, mm. kind of dancing. Na parang okay. it, it's it's uh, effective for me because when I enter, I can think straight, you know, I can um, I can do mind games, I can be com- I can be uh, composed. Mm-mm. It was challenging because for for my event, it was the first time uh, um, there was uh, under sixty kilograms for the Sea Games, so. Mm-hmm hindi ko talaga kilala yung mga mga kalaban ko so parang there there and then kailangan kong mag parang kailangan ko ng wow factor i wow factor sila para right. masinda yes oh sisindahin ko na sila and they kind of i think it's the opposite eh. they were the ones who studied me since i was a medalist for the last sea games eh. so i think that was the biggest challenge kasi especially for the Vietnam team na kalaban ko uh-huh. since teammate nila yung mga nakalaban ko before mm-hmm. so i really think na okay they medyo, know you. yeah naaral na ako nito i need right. to do something different mm-hmm. yeah the style mo rin ba na dapat alam mo yung galaw ng kalaban mo or you don't want to know about it uh, it's not intimidating. yes it's 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 a it's a style for me i mean it's helpful if um kahit hindi naman yung buong mm-hmm. kung play nila but maybe just even the stance, you know, right. if, if if I'll know if uh, kung right-handed or left-handed siya, yung, mm. yung stance niya, it's a big help already. Okay. Para yung start pa lang, alam ko na yung gagawin ko. Was there oh. anyone pushing you? Was it your family who's keeping you there? Oh, well, for that, it's kind of different for me. Um, I was I was actually in the verge of uh, letting go back in 2017. How I, I was undecided whether to continue my passion for sports or if I go for look for a regular job. Okay. That was I was it was I, maybe if I had to you know, if I had to think of someone that inspired me the most in making my decision, it would be my older brother. Because uh, lahat ng pag may mga struggles ako, siya yung lagi kong nakausap and then this is one of those things na parang sabi niya sa akin. Uh, ikaw, isipin mo, hindi naman lahat ng tao may ganitong talento, you know. Mm-hmm. Whether, hindi naman din permanent yung last ng katawan mo, mm-hmm. or one of these days, magda-retire ka na din. But regardless of that, you can still look for a job, di ba? Yeah. Bakit hindi mo sulitin yung talent and yung gift na binigay sa'yo while you still can? 
So yun yung sinabi niya sa akin. And then, I was, I was pretty rough, uh, rough on myself. Na sabi ko, hindi, okay, ano, next competition, if wala akong win medal, quit na ako. Sa akin, ganun. And then, I, the competition I chose was yung 2017 na uh, Asian Games. And then, I was like, okay, uh, this is 64 countries. Ewan ko na lang kung mag-place ako dito. Pag hindi, quit na ako. Apparently, I, I placed third place. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is for me. Yeah, it's a sign. This is for me. So I, I took it as a good sign. Mm-hmm. I took it. Okay, um, I would I would do this 100%. You know, okay. I would push myself up until the last minute. Na kaya ko pa. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna continue to inspire other people to mm-hmm. try to go with this path as well. Yeah. You coach. Yeah, that's why I became a coach as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so parang. Um, Uh, the support that you get from this sport, from continuing this career, that's what's driving you. Yes. Mm-hmm. If uh, Kurash wasn't here or Judo wasn't here to start with, what would you want to be? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a musician. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'd, I'd um, drive my passion into music since I also play uh, music naman back in when I was in high school. So mm-hmm. maybe, maybe yun yung papatunguhan ko if not the sports world. So what are we expecting from Al after C Games? Do we have upcoming competitions you're looking at or for you're training for? Uh, ano yung mm-hmm. path na ititake mo after this? Uh, well, yes, there's there there are more competitions upcoming. Um, hopefully, if we get included again for the Cambodia C Games, so that's automatically one na. Mm-hmm. And then the Asian Games for supposedly September they got moved, they got pushed back. Pero tuloy pa din naman yun, so that's okay. another. So it's the earliest competition the earliest is the Asian should be the Asian Games. Asian Games. Mm. I'm just not sure if the, if it's gonna push through mm-hmm. na parang early next year. But if it does, yun yung earliest talaga. Okay. Mensahe mo naman para sa mga young athletes or aspiring athletes na gustong ma-achieve yung tagumpay mo sa Sea Games. Hi everyone to all the kids who wants to, you know, um, go for their passion, go for what they love. Uh, advice ko sa inyo is you should just try, try and do it. You know, you'll never know what will happen. And si pinyo walang mga wala sa inyo. Kapag uh, nandun na kayo, mararamdaman yun na kung uh, para sa akin ba to. And people around you are definitely gonna support you. Kaya just go for it. All right. Thank you so much right, for your thank time. You Congratulations so much. Thank again. You. That was Al, and he was the one who brought us bronze medal in Kurash for the Southeast Asian Games. Congratulations. Thank you so much.